Are you ready? You know why? Because you are watching Hackers Team. Hello YouTube, today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make this type of text um, that I have here on my desktop. And I know I haven't made a real tutorial in a long time. That's because I don't have any ideas and what I know what to do has already been made on YouTube. And um, But today uh, I'm just going to be showing you a tutorial on Photoshop just because I want to keep my subscribers subscribed. And yeah, so... I'm going to be showing you how to make this nice text here um, and the background uh, that I, I actually got it from ne desktopnexus.com um, but I'm just going to be showing you how to make the text itself alright um, you're also going to need a font called Turnpike you can t uh, search it on defont.com that's where I got it from and um, just so your text can look nice and big and bold Alright, so you're going to make a new canvas, um, put it whatever resolution you want, doesn't matter because we're just going to be making the text, um, so I'm not sure with what you want here, maybe you're going to make a banner or whatever you want. Alright, so now we're just going to start making the text, so here, once you have that font, or maybe one that you like, um, but I suggest you get a, a nice bold one. Alright, and it'll look better on that one, but if you don't want to search for one, um, any font would be great, but uh, the turnpike just looks better with this type of effect. Alright, so just type in whatever you want. Um, and you can see it already looks nice and bold here. This is the font I mostly use with um, some of my backgrounds and stuff. Alright, now you want to go to the blending options and we're gonna add a gradient first to give it a color and here you can choose whatever you want. This is one I already made myself and you can see here that it looks like the one here but obviously it doesn't have any effects yet but you can change it to any color you might want but um, I'm just going to be changing it to a lighter color of what I have here. Let's just make it green. I really like green lime. And then a sort of a darker green here. Then hit OK. Now that it has some color, uh, let's make it, give it a drop shadow. We can leave this at multiply or normal. It doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. Um, the opacity 100 and uh, let's do the spread hmm. let's put it at just 8 if it looks good that's fine uh, the size uh, let's put it at 18 and the, let's see did we do distance 18 all right that's looking not too bad right now you can always go back and change it all right now let's add a bevel and emboss and this is what's going to create the little sort of little tiny squares in the middle um you want the depth zero right now and go to texture and add the second one here and you want to bring up the scale to create that bunch of squares right there and let's go ahead and make that uh, whatever looks much better 7 um, and it doesn't look like this really because when you zoom in it's all going to change um, but around 7 is good and um, we're not done yet we're going to change the depth to a little bit more so that you can see it a little bit better mm. let's try 470 all right that's looking good and let's click on invert so it doesn't look like too much all right 
And now here you can change some things if you want. But you don't have to. But I'm just going to leave it around 100. All right. Um, just because I like the little change that it has on there. Um, then we're going to give it a stroke for the outline, the white outline. Uh, let's make it white. You can obviously make it whatever you want, depending on what your background is. If it's a dark background, then you might want a white one. But uh, let's see, you want to give it a really big stroke, all right? And that should be it, really. Um, make the opacity 100. It's already there. Um, then you can save it as a style so that if you ever want to redo this, um, you can have it saved. Just click on new style, give it a name, and make sure these two are checked and hit OK. And then you can um, use it anytime you want. Just make some text, then click on your style that you saved. And um, all the effects should be reapplied to there, just like that. All right, and to add a background, in case you don't know how, make a new layer, put it under that one, click on place. And choose whatever picture you might want. Um, and this one I also got at desktopnexus.com. All right, and yeah, there you go. And when you zoom in, it's going to look better than here. It's just um, the texture in the middle looks awkward when it's all zoomed out. But this is what it would look like in real pixels. All right, so that's how you make that type of text. It looks really nice, and it's really attractive when people first see it. All right, so please subscribe, and hopefully I'll be making more tutorials later on. Just leave your comments and tell me what you want me to do. All right, goodbye.